don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vada Fly. We used to rapping like that. Uh-oh, bring it in, 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 bring it in. Take a seat, because we got to speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game, RiceGameClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, and every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. So Ultimate Madness, um, Madness 3 is coming. It's spinning the block. Looks like April 24th for 100 bands. 100 bands? Y'all know. Y'all better be on your motherfucking A game. A hundred bands. Listen, 25 bands was dope. Them tournaments were straight. A hundred bands. That's life changing money right there. That type of money could change the whole trajectory of a motherfucking career. That could help you get a house. That could, A hundred bands? Man, somebody mess around and get smoked in that joint for a hundred bands. Listen, all right, so. Tournament bracket has been revealed. Uh, you got Cortez versus Official, Jerry West versus Swamp, Riggs versus Geechee Gotti, Jack Boy Main versus T Top, Sirius Jones versus Rum Nitty, Drugs versus Yoshi G, Swave Seven versus Casey J, and Prep versus New Jersey Twerk. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Uh, there's a couple of clear cut favorites who I feel like, and I feel like, should be able to just walk away with this, but. As the past has told us, the pro prohibited favorites normally don't win these type of tournaments. You've seen a Fonz who many people did not have picked. I did. You've seen a Holmes the guy who a lot of people did not have picked go far in these tournaments. So let if the past is any indication of the future, there may be a dark horse that goes all the way or wins the whole thing. Um, I'll just go through the battles and I'll tell you who I think is going to win. Some battles I have more to say about than others for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is just an instant look. Like I just got the card. Uh, Cortez versus Official. Uh, Cortez versus Official. Like, it's a battle that Official will probably win, but Cortez supposed to win because Official, she gets really busy with these guys and she just came off of a Tay Rock battle that she got busy in. And for 100 grand, I mean, Everything is ramped up. Like, I mean, everything is heightened. So I'm going to go with Official 2-1 in that. I mean, if Cortez is going to beat Official, he has to show me he can do it because Official be getting crazy with people right now. Next, I'm going with Sirius Jones versus Rum Nitty. The reason why I want to go with Sirius Jones versus Rum Nitty, Sirius Jones, if you back out of a big K battle to jump in front of Rum Nitty, that is like moving out of a way of a car to get hit by a fucking train because Rum Nitty is one of the people that I'm going to prohibit to probably go all the way, either make it to the finals or win this shit because Rum Nitty in short prep with those punches in front of judges, dog, them shits are like haymakers and they land back to back to back. A person like Sirius Jones been around since Battle Rap began. He shouldn't even be in this type of tournament, but if he is, for him to get a win on a Rum Nitty would mean a lot. But other than Rum Nitty beating himself, pause, choking, stumbling, or something like that, I got Rum Nitty winning. And pretty clear, too. Uh, Jerry West versus Swamp, dope battle. Uh, that could come down to the third round. Swamp was very good in his last battle. Jerry West is very energetic. Jerry West got good stage presence and good energy. That could be pretty interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jerry West is a guy that, with 100,000 on the line, he might bring some shit that, and he got energy, and he got good moves, and, and ways to get around, and quick punches, and shit like that. Swamp, you know, sometimes he moves a little slower, but he can heat up quick, too. Shit, Gonzaga is about to get smoked. I knew Gonzaga was going to get smoked, because they was playing against whack-ass teams like Everest College and fucking Delaware State all year. They got in front of these brothers in Baylor, and Baylor cracked their head. They up by 20 with two minutes left. But anyway, so, um... I got that being pretty debatable. I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, Riggs versus Geechee Gotti. I got Geechee Gotti 2-1. Uh, Jack Boy Main versus T-Top. Now, this could be different. Because Jack Boy Main was kicking over trash cans and he was hot about the fact that he thought that Sirius Jones had took his spot. 
in Ultimate Madness only for him to be included in Ultimate Madness, but you facing T-Top, the number one angler in battle rap. If T-Top could get a win over, no, if Jack Boy could get a win over T-Top, he might just march all the way. Dark horse, but uh, T-Top got too many angles. I mean, uh, damn, dude. Goonies was your click, I see what they never could do. Jack boy, you at the point. Your bitch flames better than you. Bro, you do the do the cards you won. I can talk about the last cards you won, like the T Top. For a hundred thousand T Top's gonna come in there wild. I got T Top winning two one, but uh we'll see where that goes. Uh drugs versus Yoshi G. I actually got Yoshi G winning this. Not no hate on drugs and all like that. He just don't win battles. Like I'm <laughs> It is what it is. Like, just keep it short. So I check the record on the fucking app. He's like one in eleven. Um, Swave Seven versus KCJ. Uh, KCJ. <laughs> I had KCJ in that one. I rock with Swave. His movement, Team Hami. But yo, he don't rap. To me, he don't rap fast enough to be KCJ. KCJ be like boom, 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 boom. She be wild. I like the fact that you all incorporated women into this tournament too. I'm not gonna lie. We, this might be the first time we see a woman take the whole shit, like, for real, for real. Um, but yeah, I got KCJ winning 2-1. Um, Baylor won the national championship. That's crazy. Um, Prep versus Twerk. Twerk is battling the one thing that he ain't never been able to beat yet, which is Prep. Like, he ain't never... <laughs> yeah, got that? Yeah, got that. Twerk ain't never beat Prep. So, how would I pick... This is a this could be a surprise. If Twerk is not prepared for prep, prep is gonna get him. <laughs> Yo, this shit is crazy. They matched up Twerk with the thing that he got the number one problem with. And that's prep. Not like prep the rapper, but being prepared for the rapper. This shit is crazy. Yo, is he prepped? Will he be prepped? For a hundred thousand, you would think that twerk would be in his fucking bag. Um, overall, like I said, uh, my favorite in this is probably I, I would go with Rum Nitty to win the whole thing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, in prep versus twerk, as much as I be wanting to pick twerk. I just, he's got to show it, you know what I'm saying? And I know we have been down this road a hundred thousand times. That's the, let's just see what happens with that. I'm going to just see what happens with that. Everything else I can predict. But if, if he come in there and he's not even, he's prep, prep, prep is what I'm, you can, it's, we talking about practice, not a game, not the game that you'll die for. We talking about practice. Is he going to be ready for prep? Because prep is going to be ready for him. You already know Prep. Prep ain't gonna play with that motherfucker. You better know that. Um, ultimately, I think it's a dope look. Uh, you know, they got a bunch of mid-tier talent on here, a couple top-tier names on here. Geechee's a ringer in this shit. Geechee shouldn't even be in this shit. T-Top, you a ringer in this motherfucker too. You shouldn't be in here. Rum Nitty, you are also a ringer. You shouldn't be in here. Uh, but y'all are there. Um, those, that's my top three. That's my three. T-Top, Geechee Gotti, and Rum Nitty. Talking to my boy G Mac tonight, he was saying that he got twerk. He picks twerk to win the tournament. He's the prep. It's it's a prep thing. Is he gonna be prepped? That's the question. Is the prep there? I don't know. Um, but like I said, it's an opportunity for them brothers to be provided to be able to win a hundred thousand uh, dollars. A lot of people will probably never make a hundred thousand dollars off battle rap. So I would suggest that these guys hone in. Bring the best possible shit that they could bring and just, you know, bring your A game. Because uh, that's a lot of bread on the line. That's enough bread to bake biscuits for the whole projects, B. Other than that, Showtime SP, take it away. Salute to Baylor for winning the national championship. I'm going. Firing on these niggas. Firing on these niggas. Firing on these niggas outside. I feel like Malcolm as he peeping out the blinds Don't care if it's 900 niggas outside I'm standing there firing on these niggas I'm firing
Sorry, that was just in my head. That was just in my head. What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? It's your boy, show Thomas Peter. Nobody that knows bodies. Pow! You are real. Y'all did it again. Ultimate madness, huh? 25K the first time. 25K the second time. This time, y'all said we not going to double it. No. No, that's too simple. We going to double that. For 100K... A hundred K? What y'all, what y'all, how do I sign up for this? Because this is a hundred K. I'm, I'm, a hundred K now. This is, this is different. You know what I'm saying? I could be a totally different person. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have to be Showtime SP to nobody. That nobody's for a hundred K. Nigga, I'm catching everybody. And I need y'all to have that same energy. I need y'all to have that same energy. And they decided to even it up a little bit. They threw a couple of ladies in there. Not one, not two, but three ladies in that thing for Ultimate Madness 3. But what we're going to have to do is the basic rundown of how I want to run all of these battles down. Straight down the line. There's no need to discuss it or do any further uh, uh, talking about it until we get closer into it. So, we're going to do this thing Ace Ventura style. <sighs> First battle we got up is Cortez versus Official. I mean, honestly, do we really think Cortez is going to be a, Official? I do think that Official is going to outbar Cortez, but I think if Cortez finds that inch, that 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 mile, that 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 uh, that sasson that he has, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he could edge this battle. But being honest with you, I think Official is still on a nice little run. I think she can try to make it very far into this tournament if she prepares correctly. So I think this one I'm gonna have to go with Official two one just off the shot, just off the strip. Just I'm sorry, I'm just sorry, I'm just sorry. Then we got Swamp versus Jerry West. I love both of these cats. Both of these guys are really good battlers. Swamp has definitely showed and proved from his two on two with him and Geechee got it. It was very awesome triple C's. And then you gotta look at the fact that Jerry West has been missing for a minute. He only been doing the we go hard battles and he been doing the other battles in the backyards but he ain't got to worry about doing none of that stuff this is now all focus and dedication towards you 100k is on the line i gotta go with the fan favorite of course it's gonna be swamp but my fan favorite because i am a fan I'm not gonna lie to you i honestly think jerry west has been holding on to some stuff and i do think that maybe swamp getting in this tournament is because he was supposed to be in ultimate madness 2 and he chose to not do that now he's in ultimate madness 3 so it's a contradiction so you gotta show and prove but i think jerry west has enough material to get all the way through that thing next up we got riggs versus geechee Gotti. don't know how they, that happened did they just pick these names out of a hat i mean it's cool riggs definitely does talk that uh gang shit and geechee is gonna also talk that gang shit but we we know that one of these two is going to do it way better. And Gigi Gotti is top tier for a reason. He's only in this thing because he wants to chase 100K. And I think I'm going to have to go with Gigi Gotti on that one. Next battle we're going to have to go with is Jack Boy Main versus T-Top. Jack Boy Main had a battle on a band battle and T-Top just came off of his loss versus Coffee. I'm pretty sure after him losing to a woman, he's going to want to smoke something. So I'm going to have to go with T-Top on this one. Jack Boy Man has a lot to show and prove, but he's been trying to show improve and had a lot to show and prove for the past few months now so it's like it's kind of like a situation where if you were a betting man you would go with the easy winner of t-top i'm not picking any upsets just yet i don't think there's going to be any upsets speaking of upsets let's get serious who has been drinking the rum i need to know i need to know now y'all need to stop it serious jones versus rum nitty serious wasn't you supposed to be battling last week on last weekend you supposed to be but you had said that something happened and then you you couldn't go and then okay cool all right well, well there's a person that's coming to, that's definitely um battling in this one and he wants the hundred k too I mean ain't nobody else calling his name for him ain't nobody else calling for him so you might as well try to scrape up this hundred k real quick you know what I'm saying not to mention he's gonna have that material it's gonna give you everything you need to do not to mention there's gonna be so many freaking serious flips. Gotta go with Rum Nitty on this one. 3 0, actually. I don't have Serious Jones winning around. Sorry. Don't have it happening. Now, I will get right back on this goddamn camera if Serious Jones gets around, and I will argue that one round. But I won't have to argue it because there are judges, and they're gonna judge this battle, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna go with Rum Nitty's material. As long as Rum Nitty doesn't choke. And then last time I seen him, the little stumble and fumble and choke, that was a while ago. It was a few years ago. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real with you. Gotta keep it all the way funky. If I can't keep it funky with you, don't bring the odor. Terrible lines, but this is what I'm putting out there. Next up battle, we got Drugs versus Yoshi G. This one is a little different. 
Um, you know, it's kind of like a thing where you constantly, you, you always see drugs, drugs is always around, and then you always see uh, Yoshiji tweeting about the things that she does that is very provocative, and it is also things that I like to see, and I like to hear the certain things that I like, I, I, I do like that, so I mean, on as a fan favorite, we're gonna go with the fan favorite right now, the fan favorite is Yoshiji, pretty sure people have Yoshiji beating drugs, now drugs. I know you're not going to let that little woman go ahead and talk to you like that. And I know you're not going to let her try to just trash you like that. I'm just saying it's for a honey cat. It's for a honey cat. You're going to get knocked out the first round by a girl who was shorter than you and everybody else in the room. And I'm... We just gonna leave that alone. You know, so so only thing I'm saying is I'm gonna have to go with Yoshi G on this one, just off the slight edge of the two one, because I do believe that Yoshi G inside of her bars is actually really great material, and she has been showing up and showing out, and it's not been a bad Yoshi G battle, other than the cringy uh, getting on the knees against Bill Collector. But we'll let that slide. You know what I'm saying? We'll let that slide because she's let things slide. And and Swave Seven versus Casey J. Ooh, this one is a little difficult, man. I'm just saying, Casey J been wanting to beat up on another man. I'm just saying, Casey J definitely has a vibe that she wants to swing on one of these dicks. And I think Swave is the nigga that can block. Clearly, because he knows karate, okay? He knows how to hit one of these joints. He might want to go in there and hit you with the Matrix joint with the one move and do the yawn. You feel me? He might want to do one of those things. But I think that Swave himself, his voice is not going to carry the way that it's going to work in a tournament. You see what I'm saying? See, Casey J is going to have bars. And Swave is going to talk her to death. He's going to try to old school her to death. I don't know. I don't know. This one's weird. This one's weird. I got to pick one of these fellas to win. So I'm going to have with Swave on this one. Yeah, I got Yoshi beating drugs. I got official beating Cortez. Um, but I am not going to say that Casey J is going to just walk out of there with Swave Seven. I'm, just, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Casey. If we have any issues, you can please contact me. And we could go over the bars and stuff like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just stuff that I would like to hear. You know what I'm saying? Me, you, candlelight, and bars. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know. That's, it hit the rim. And then last but not least, we got Prep versus New Jersey Twerk. Ooh. 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 I might have an upset. Is it bad that I think I got Prep winning this battle? Just think that Prep might be a little bit too prepared. I think for the shock value, the fact that Prep might... Um, be the super duper 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 underdog and ultimate madness is known for the upsets so i'm just saying i'm just saying if i had to pick one upset one upset it's gonna be off the technicality and y'all know the technicality boy y'all know that technicality is gonna happen with new jersey's work man nah nah let's not jack that it's constant it's constant it happens every round happens every round happens every battle that he does so it's not like you know, now if we get three full rounds of New Jersey twerk, does that mean that we're gonna get the best New Jersey twerk? Nope. I think Prep might be able to edge the first round. But eh, Prep, don't harp on that. Don't harp on all of them angles. Don't harp on it. But I'm saying you have a very similar uh angle that you had with JC with New Jersey twerk. I'm just saying. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just saying, but don't harp on it all three rounds. You still want to outbar that nigga, and you want to match that nigga's explosiveness. But who was here first? Hmm? Hmm? Other than that, man, Vada said I was supposed to only do five minutes, but let me tell you something. I did nine. 